Hey guys, this is Quinn from NBC and this is my review on the eyeballs. Hi everyone, this is Quinn at That Snazzy iPhone Guy and I apologize for my voice in advance, but I'm going to be reviewing the eyeballs uh, protection system for your iPad uh, or other tablet today. Now, um, these will run you $19.95 plus shipping and handling from eyeballs.info. You can also pick them up at eyeballsforipad.com. Um, my voice is at 100% and I need a drink of water right this second, so I'm just going to have you watch uh, the little promotion video on uh, Eyeballs' website. It does have some merit to it, so don't, just don't freak out, calm down. Okay, here we go. I just sort of a cool new invention, the eyeballs. I'm looking forward to getting a pair to put on my iPad to protect it. How are your balls? So that was just a funny little video from eyeballs, and uh, you may be asking, what exactly are the eyeballs? I'm gonna sneeze. Um, okay. Whew, don't sneeze, Quinn. The eyeballs are these little foam balls right here. And uh, there you go. They're a little hairy right now. That's not appropriate. Um, <laughs> this video is going to be filled with dirty jokes, inadvertent, of course. Um, so you have the eyeballs logo right here, which is kind of like silk screened on. Uh, the ball itself is foam. They're really hard and durable. Um, that's what you said. I'm just going to leave it to you guys because there's going to be so many in this video. And uh, if you can look in this ball real quick here, you can see that there is a direct triangular cutout. It goes that way and then that way. And that is so that you can fit the corners of your iPad directly into the center of the ball. Now what this does structurally is uh, it fully protects the corner of your iPad with the ball. And the two main features in my opinion of the eyeballs are one, drop protection, which is insane. I'm going to get into a drop test here in a minute. And second, um, it is really, 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 really good in the sense that it raises your iPad off the table. So if you were to spill something, um, your pad is chilling on your balls. So um, your balls get really wet, but gross again, but your iPad is fine. So uh, those are the two biggest features in my opinion. It lifts it up off the table, which also protects your um, iPad if you don't have any protection on it like I do. Uh, I don't have a screen protector. I don't have anything on the back. It is naked almost all the time. So the eyeballs kind of uh, decreases the chances of stuff happening to it in that regard. Now I'm going to fit the balls onto the side of the iPad. You get four here on this little strand. Now I'm going to get into this in a minute and I have a few complaints and I haven't actually a suggestion for eyeballs which kind of goes in a whole different direction but uh, I think that they should implement this and it'd be a really cool option. So you have these four balls that are on this strand, right? And this strand is adjustable. There's this little plastic slider, which you can adjust the tightness, um, the elasticity of your balls. And uh, you're gonna take each one and fit it on your iPad. Now, I like having it so that this little guy is chilling out the end here, okay? I like him hanging off the bottom because when you hold it, I mean, you can have them anyway, this way, this way. This is my main problem is this really bothers me. I'm like seriously OCD and I don't like the fact that it's just hanging places. So I like to leave it off the bottom uh, first choice. And you're gonna take each ball and you just simply slide it onto the corner. Now eyeballs work with more than just the iPad. However, they don't work with everything because the cutout is really pretty narrow. So um, they advertise it working with the Amazon Kindle um, I tried it with my Barnes & Noble Nook, and alas, I had no success. So thin tablets, um, all should work. The Kindle works, and uh, of course, the iPad works. So um, right now, they're really loose, and you can adjust this. This is what this is for, the tightness on the slider. Now loose, they don't do much. They probably lift it up, but that's about it, because they're just slide around, 
and the, you don't really get true drop protection until you start to tighten this bad boy up. And so what you're going to want to do is make sure all your balls are fit. And you can just start cranking on this tire and crank hard. So the less elasticity you have in here, the stronger um, it seems in the sense that all the balls kind of stick in their place. They don't move around as much when it's tighter in the string. Um, now one thing that I will mention and complain to eyeballs about is since all the balls are the same, you're going to run into some problems. And this is my biggest area of problems is this ball fits perfectly on top of that and that. Now the sleep wake button is a really big problem because when I try and access this switch, um, I can access this one. But what happens is that the ball is actually covering the on off switch and it just will either turn the screen off or weird stuff will happen when I never actually touch the switch. So I have a lot of uh, inadvertent screen you know turn offs and if it kind of it takes a fall or a tumble it's going to turn off and that i don't like that i don't like the fact that um you got to kind of pick and choose do i want the vibrate on or excuse me do i want the screen lock rotation on or do i want my ipad on i wish they were to kind of create a little bit of a cutout just for each of these so that you didn't inadvertently hit buttons um by doing so so that's one complaint. The other complaint is over here, and I'm like hitting my head going, do um, your headphone jack access is totally gone. Now, of course, you can kind of slide it that way, but then your ball isn't actually really on the corner of your iPad. And if you were to drop it, chances are that would slide up, and you'd be uh, liable to some damage right there. So for my headphones, it's fine. See, this, is gonna be, this bothers me really bad. It's a major problem that they need to kind of figure out. Um, you can access it and then just cover it when you're done, but I wish it was open all the time. Um, so those are my two main problems. What I would recommend to eyeballs is omitting this string altogether. Um, I just feel like it's not necessary um, in a way. I feel like they should give you six balls um, or four or five, maybe just four. Four balls for 15 bucks or something like that, or 10 bucks, that would be even better. But what you do is, if I was to go and design eyeballs, what I would do is I would cut these out a little bit more and cut these out a little bit more so you could kind of lift it open like a clamshell. And then I would put two 3M sticky pads, one right there and one right there, and you'd actually adhese the ball to your iPad. So while it wouldn't be removable like the eyeballs are right now, it'd stay all the time because it's adhesed to your iPad. Of course, you could get it off if you wanted to. It's kind of like a screen shield or like a gel skins. It's like, you know, you stick something to it. And then my biggest problem is this stupid dangle thing. So you get rid of this. You just have four balls on the side of your iPad. It'd look a little sleeker. Um, and then have customized balls for, you know, the headphone jack. There'd be kind of a serration. Wow, well, I can talk. And um, there'd be a little cutout here for your headphone jack. And that's the other problem with the headphone jack is it goes right on top of this cord, so you kind of have to move this out of the way. And uh, I wish they just kind of would do away with the cord. I think it's a great idea, but they need to work on kind of the uh, the, uh, the effort itself. Now, the reason I really love eyeballs is I'm not worried about it. I used to be really anal about letting people see my iPad, touch it, throw it around, because I'm always worried about stuff happening to it, dropping, you know, la di da di da With the eyeballs... I am not worried for a minute that anything will happen to this. You know, you can turn the screen on. Nothing's going to happen to it. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do a drop from three feet and about five feet. Um, I don't dare to go much higher, but honestly, who's going to drop their iPad from more than five feet? So um, that'll just kind of prove to you that unlike many other cases, <coughs> iFrogs, um, the iFrogs Jelly case, I don't remember the name of it, but I dropped my iPad in it, and my iPad got a big, huge dent in the corner. Um, it was very unattractive, very ugly, and my iPad was very sad. Uh, my iPad has since been fixed by Apple, however, that was a very sad moment in my life. Now, um, one thing I wanna show you is that it can kind of be used in a bunch of different ways. If you pull this ball off, it, takes the iPad to uh, a bit of an angle. If you can get it positioned here, there we go. And what this allows you to do is, if we take the camera off, let's go on an adventure. Woo. You can see that this is elevated. It's raised. 
Whereas, um, I shouldn't say whereas, because it just creates a more severe angle. Um, it's not really severe, it's maybe 15, 20% at most, but it is an angle. Now, if I were to just have the balls on it alone, it would be a 180 degree angle that is raised off the table. And that's what I want to show you. This is my favorite feature. I actually did spill a drink while I was using my iPad. Um, I was absolutely frightened, but then I remembered, oh, I have the eyeballs on. And what happened was all the water went under my iPad. My balls got a little wet, but uh, everything under there was fine because there's not a single point. Uh, if we can get, see that? You can see all the way through. There's not a single point, in fact, not even close to where the iPad is physically touching the table. So uh, that's one thing to note as well. Now, um, you know, pretty much $20, I feel like you get a solid protection system. Uh, it does its job. It lifts it off the table. You can kind of create a, uh, a little stand here. You know, I kind of like that feature. I think it's really nifty. You can type at an angle. Um, I like that much better. It falls if it's kind of, you gotta adjust it to right there. There we go. It's not the sturdiest stand out there, but it works. Um, it's better than nothing. And then uh, I feel like the drop protection is superb, and that's why I am going to drop my iPad for you right now. Okay, so here we are in my beautiful bathroom. I've got my iPad with the eyeballs on it. I'm going to tighten them a little bit. The reason we're in the bathroom is because I do want to get a shot of the floor. And the floor is not quite in there. Let me lower this a little bit. Um, because the floor is tile. It is not some carpet crap that's all protected. This is, this is legit stuff. So this is about three feet. Uh, it's about from where you would be if you were holding it in your hands. And uh, we're just going to go and drop it. So I'm not worried to the slightest that the iPad is harmed. As you can see, the screen is still on it. Everything is still good, everything still works. Um, it's just a beautiful little iPad. Now we're gonna take it a little higher and drop it from about six feet. And uh, here we go. Okay, so this is six feet. It's from my eye level, which is six feet, by the way. Um, all you doubters, I'm 6'4", so that's six feet. Um, I'll even go to my brow line, just in case you're wondering. This is way higher than anyone else would drop it. I mean, I don't know any case when you drop your iPad for more than five feet, but we'll do six feet just to test it, just to make sure that it's fine. And I know you guys like floor shots, so I'm gonna do it there rather than seeing me drop it, you'll see it land. In three, two, one. Did you guys see that? No? Okay, one more time. Three, two. Okay, so uh, we'll take the iPad, we'll pull it off with the balls. As you can see, it's still, okay, camera's freaking me out. As you can see, it still rotates, all the buttons still work. No, they don't. Oh, <laughs> that's because I'm hooked to Bluetooth. Let me turn that off. I have Bluetooth speakers that I'm hooked up to. There we go. Let that go off right here. See that? Okay, there we go. Volume still works. Screen rotation still works. Accelerometer still works. Everything's good. Uh, touch screen. Sorry, this is like not where I would typically film, so I'm kind of tripping out. Uh, the screen still works. Sleep wake still button still works. So two drops from six feet and one drop from three feet. Easily the iPad held uh, up to the drops with the eyeballs, and some part of me believes that that wouldn't be the case if it wasn't for the eyeballs. There's no scratches, no dents on this beautiful device. It's in perfect condition, and it's all thanks to the eyeballs. So, in final summation, my toilet's right there. Um, if you're looking for kind of a protection device that may not be the prettiest, may not be the most elegant, but something that works, eyeballs is definitely for you. If you're clumsy, if you drop things, if you're scared about your beautiful iPad going through uh, trials, the eyeballs are good. They're also expandable, so you could probably use, uh, I haven't tried this, so I don't, don't take my word, but you could probably use an invisible shield, a body of ours, you know, a thin protection system, a Rapsol on your iPad and still be able to use the eyeballs for 100% protection. This is Quinn, that's Nancy the iPhone guy coming at you with the eyeballs review. My final rating is a 7 out of 10. They could refine a few things, but man, did they fulfill their responsibilities and for 20 bucks, that's a great deal. So this is Quinn, that's Nancy the iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.